Hey everybody, this is John Franklin Reviewer and I am here with a movie trailer review here. This one is going to be Halloween, the new Michael Myers starring Jamie Lee Curtis. That's right, Laurie Strobe is back against her brother. Whoops, I'm wrong. According to this, this is a sequel to the original and all the other sequels are gone and it turns out this one is not her brother. Ooh, just some kind of serial killer. I don't know, I gotta be honest with you. Some people are going to be mixed reviews on this one. First off, right off the bat, I just got to say, I'm not too thrilled with that. But maybe it'll kind of surprise me. Maybe it'll be actually a little bit better than I thought. Now that I kind of got that out of the way, let's get going on to the trailer itself. So the trailer starts off with this man and this woman. I'm assuming they're going to be either reporters or undercover cops or something like that. And the thing is that they end up going to, I'm sure, I'm assuming, Smith Grove to go see Michael Myers. So the guy ends up talking about what happened in 1978 with Michael Myers killing three babysitters. So then after that, talks about Dr. Loomis a little bit, and he goes and gets himself arrested, and he's been in Smith's Grove for 40 years, I believe it was. So the guy ends up doing something that so stupid horror movies do. He ends up having like this little bag with him, and it's like Michael with his head turned like this, so you don't see him, you just see the back of his head, but he is bald on top there. So the thing is, the guy pulls this little, pulls something out of his bag here, and it is the Michael Myers mask there, and it's like, Michael, you know this? You know this kind of thing? And everybody else kind of starts going crazy, all the other inmates and all that. There's a dog that gets a little wimpy, and the woman's kind of looking around like, what the hell's going on kind of thing. Everybody but him, he's just standing there, because he's probably been standing there for 40 years waiting to find a way to escape and go kill... Lori Strobe, for whatever reason, not his sister this time. So the thing is that originally I thought this was supposed to be directed by John Carpenter, and I think he was signed on for it. Now he's an executive producer, and he ended up handing the mantle over to somebody else. But the thing is, with this trailer, and I mentioned the whole thing about not being brother and sister. The thing I liked about the first and even the second one was that, kind, especially the second one with them telling you about brother and sister, that you kind of really felt more of a family connection on that. You know, sister versus serial killer. Now it's just kind of the whole woman versus him, and it's like, okay, so the thing is, she wants her revenge. I don't blame her on that one bit. But honestly, the trailer looks, looks interesting. Now, when they show Michael Myers putting on the mask and the music, you're starting to rock out. You know what I'm talking about. You know, maybe not the younger generation, but the people who've actually watched a lot of these Michael Myers movies and really liked them like I do. Yep, you're rocking on, I gotta be honest. But you know what? I gotta mention something else about this. Okay, they're saying that this is only the first sequel of all the Michael Myers, all the Halloweens. Well, here's the thing. There's a couple things that they show, you know, little... Uh, little tidbits here and there from Halloween 4, from H2O, and I kind of like that kind of stuff. So, and another thing that kind of bothered me, even though it's not supposed to be the same, Jamie Lee Curtis has a daughter, okay? Where is Daniel Harris? She originally was the daughter, um, you know, Jamie from Halloween 4, 5, and 6. How come she's not in it kind of thing? They got this other actress. I'm sorry. That's just, that little, like, those little things do bother me, especially when you know the other movies and they're supposed to say, wipe those out. It's a bit tough when you probably like these movies, know a lot about these movies, know all the kills, all, a lot of the dialogue like I do. So that kind of bothered me on that. Before I go on a rant here, I'm going to stop right now. I do think the trailer looks good. I'll definitely give it a kind of thumbs up on this, but we'll see when the movie comes out in October. Okay, what was your opinion about that? Did you like it or not? Give me a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching another, actually this one, a trailer review. And as always, stay awesome.